Hey guys, hope you're doing well. My name is Louie. I'm going to be doing a reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North No, Please take what resonates, leave the rest. If you guys want to book a personal reading with me, please check the description box below. All the information will be found there. All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump right into your all's reading. This is going to be for the month of October. Okay, so Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or anywhere that you have Taurus in your chart. Okay, let's go ahead and jump right in. Guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment below. And if you guys want to book a personal, all the information will be found down there. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and see what is going on for tourism, rising Venus, and North Node. Angel guides, spirit guides, a good light. Let me channel the messages. Go ahead and do this really quick. All right, let's see. What do we got? For Taurus, for my Taurus. All right, so the first card out is the waiting game. Okay, so some of you could be waiting on something, right? You've already built something, okay? You're kind of like waiting to see the fruits of that labor. Okay, so this is almost like two of wands energy. All right, so some of you could be at a distance or going at a distance or something like that, but the light, something is being exposed to you. All right, 219 could be significant. You could be dealing with a Pisces for some of you. You got here self-esteem. Okay, so I possess the gifts of the soul that benefits me and others. Okay, and then you have the sun. All right, so for some of you here, the waiting game, something is being exposed. Or you could be exposing somebody here. All right, yeah, abundance is coming your way. I am a limitless being, and I can manifest whatever I desire into the physical reality. What else we got? What is this waiting game? The waiting game, shadow, and the twin flame union. All right, so 218 could be significant. Okay, you got here spiritual union and then the shadow. Okay, this is almost like giving me the moon. So some of you could be mirroring each other. You could be mirroring somebody. Okay, for some of you here, this is the Cancerian. A Cancer could be involved. Let's see. In the bottom of the deck, you have mental conflict okay so you could be like distraught between two things okay so between two people the moon the shadow here the moon talks about illusions okay so something hidden is coming to light especially with the light here you have both the light and the shadow okay so you're realizing there's a light side to you and a shadow side to you you have to balance both okay especially when it comes to the spiritual union of some sort right both of you could see eye to eye you see this this is like the forehead kiss okay this is so unique well, not unique, but like very, a forehead kiss is like, you can see into each other's soul. Okay, so this is a soulmate union. Okay, definitely a spiritual union of some sort. Okay, maybe even past life connections could be significant. With the waiting game, you've just been waiting on this person and there's been some sort of mental conflict, but something is getting exposed. Okay, with the light. All right, both the moon and the sun illuminate the darkness, so... I feel like you guys could be manifesting a love to come back into your life. Okay, and you could be marrying this person. This is not for all of you. This could be for some of you. I'm also getting Yemaya and Ochung here, blue and yellow. Okay, so this is not going to resonate with everybody, but that could be from like a religion of some sort. Well, Santeria, Yoruba religion. Okay, so somebody could be religious here. Ochung, Yemaya, both are Yemaya has the ocean and Ochun has the river okay so something about the ocean and the river where the ocean and the river meet okay a bay can be significant but anyway let's see what is going on with my Taurus in the month of October current energy for the month of October for Taurus someone rising Venus and North Node All right so you got the devil Capricorn energy you could be dealing with a Capricorn for some of you all right, toxicities could be significant. All right, what is the devil here in the current energy? I'm just going to go ahead and clarify as I'm going. All right, it kind of like cuts the time. All right, so what's the devil? Queen of Swords. Okay, so Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. 
you could be cutting any type a type of toxicity from your life okay so what's the devil with the queen of swords or you could be saying something okay um for some of you here this could be like toxic communication that's coming in what is this devil with the queen of swords empress energy taurus libra You have children with this person, okay? For some of you, this is like a divorce or something like that. That could be significant. Okay, you're nurturing yourself and you're speaking out your truth, but there's this toxicity right behind you, okay? For some of you, you're exposing somebody, especially with the Queen of Swords, something that you're speaking or you're going straight for the jugular, okay? For some of you, it's with a mother figure, okay? The Emperor is showing up. Somebody could be pregnant or giving birth to something new. Okay, what's this Empress? What's this Empress? This is not going to be for everybody, but I'm also picking up somebody could be going under the knife doing something aesthetically. Okay, the Queen of Swords and then the Empress. Okay, for some of you, that's what somebody could be getting some sort of surgery. Yeah, don't act on your impulse. This could be hasty communication coming in. Okay, so. What's the blockages? I feel like some of you here could have cut somebody off and then it's like, oh, but let's have sex one more le one last time and then you guys are going to end up pregnant. If you guys can't end up pregnant, this could be a job, all right, or giving birth to something new. Or you're like a mother to this person because the Knight of Swords is somebody who's very impulsive. Okay, so what's the blockages? All right, somebody could have some sort of sexual addiction, some sort of drug addiction, some sort of addiction, period. All right, greed, materialism with the devil. Okay, somebody likes to be tied and bound. What's the block of this? The Hierophant, Taurus energy. All right, you could be blocking yourself. What's the Hierophant? All right, that's like conforming to society rules of some sort. All right, traditional beliefs with the hair font. Yeah, you're, you're heartbroken here. And this could be a relationship. For some of you, you divorce this person. Okay, and that's the blockage here. You keep taking this person back. Three of swords and the blockage. You need to cut them off. What is the foundation? What's in the foundation for Taurus, Summon Rising Venus, and North Node? All right, for some of you, this could be like a church or a... A group of people maybe they could be religious or something like that I don't know why I'm picking up Santeria so this person could like there could be somebody that's into like Santeria or something like that okay with the Hierophant and three of swords this person could have done some sort of like magic what is this Hierophant with the three of swords Queen of Pentacles all right so that's you guys you guys could be like her but I feel like you guys are gonna release something Okay, Queen of Pentacles, because you're very reliable, very resourceful, all right, when it comes to money, when it comes to abundance, okay, you guys are growing, you guys are sitting in your throne. For some of you here, you guys are like white witches, okay, with the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I feel like you're the Queen of Swords here, and this Queen of Pentacles could be somebody else. Okay, so, for some of you, you were placed in a third-party situation, and that was the blockage. What is in the foundation? What's in the foundation for Cappy? All right, Two of Swords, Libra energy. Okay, so your heart chakra is blocked. You're blindfolded with the ability to remove that blindfold, see things for what they truly are. There's a need for you to balance things out. Okay, there's two, two here. There's a two here. So you guys could be seeing two, two, two a lot. Okay, so you guys could even be seeing three, three, three a lot. Okay, but two of swords there is talking about balancing something and making a decision but you're at a stalemate you have to make a choice all right and then the nine of cups it's time for you to be selfish okay for some of you all right your wishes are being fulfilled okay or your wishes are coming true two nine could be significant february 9th could be significant What is this two of swords with the nine of cups? For some of you here, yeah, the magician. You guys could be manifesting this. 
or manifesting someone into your life, okay? Or you guys are very focused, career focused, or you're focused on what you need to be focused on, okay? Gemini energy with the magician. And you could be like manifesting something, all your wishes to come true. But the Two of Swords is talking about balancing something out and a decision of some sort. Maybe you're at a stalemate with your person. Okay, that's for some of you. Because this Three of Swords here in your blockage with this Two of Swords, right, it's Five of Swords. So there is conflict, jealousy, right? Even a third party could be significant. It's also someone here who's bullying someone. So Five of Swords. All right, anyway, what is in the recent past? What's in the recent past? I don't know. You guys are very creative with something, okay? You guys could be magicians. You guys could be doing magic, okay? To manifest your true, your, your soulmate, for some of you, to manifest your abundance, okay? King of Pentacles, to manifest your King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. A hubby. This is someone who you could rely on. Okay, if you want a hubby, this is your hubby. A hubby material. Or wifey material. It doesn't have to doesn't matter the gender. Alright, King of Pentacles. What is in the recent past? The recent past Knight of Wands. This person could have been a little sexual, lusty, or something like that with the King with the Knight of Wands. Okay, so Knight of Wands is somebody who's here for a good time, not a long time. What's this Knight of Wands in the recent past? So you had to cut this person off, right? Maybe this person got somebody pregnant here. Yeah, Ten of Wands. There's a lot of burdens. Okay, you had to let go of this. You couldn't see yourself with this person because all they thought about was sex. Okay, or, I don't know, Knight of Wands could be in the down low for some of you. Alright, this person comes back, and every single time they come back, they come with more wands. They come with more baggage. Okay, so, for some of you, you're quitting that. The Queen, the queen of Swords, you're speaking your truth and cutting that shit off. Alright, so, or you need to. What is on your mind? Guys, smash the like button. Don't forget to smash the like button. It helps the channel grow. All right, yeah, you guys are working. All right, you're very skilled at whatever it is that you do. Okay, Eight of Pentacles. What's this Eight of Pentacles on your mind? Seven of Cups. You're working through the confusion. Okay, is what I'm picking up here. You're working through the confusion. You're in the dark about something. Or maybe there's a lot of options. Okay, for some of you, this could be work-related. What is the Seven of Cups with the Eight of Pentacles here on your mind? You're confused as to, should I work on this relationship? Should I not work on this relationship? Because you got spiritual union here. I feel like both of you guys could be like marrying each other. Yeah, absolutely. Look, Aries energy, the Emperor. Okay, this could be a boss figure. This could be a baby daddy. For some of you, this is your baby daddy. They had a lot of options. All right, and you're kind of like stuck between the two. Should I work on this? Should I not? <laughs> The Emperor could be a little stubborn, Aries. What is in the near future? I don't know. You guys are bossing up, right? Maybe you guys are very confused as to how you're going to get there, but you guys are going to boss up. Okay, so you continue doing your thing. All right, what's in the near future? You got the Nine of Pentacles. Absolutely, you're going to boss up. Virgo energy. Okay, you're self-made. All right, you're alone here. You're you're going to choose to be single for some of you with the Nine of Pentacles. What's the Nine of Pentacles? All right, some of you could be models or online or something like that. What's the Nine of Pentacles? All right, the Justice. That's their karma. All right, or somebody's getting karma. Something is just for you. All right, that's cause and effect. So if you work hard, you're going to get that. You're going to get the prize. All right, so for some of you guys work really hard, so I don't I don't think that's a problem. All right, for some of you here, you're going to take somebody to court. All right, they could be a baby daddy or something like that. It's time to pay child support. I've been on my own this long, okay, doing everything on my own. I'm self-made, but no, I need the help. The waiting game. What's the justice? Libra energy. Yeah, Ace of Cups. Now you're loving yourself. 
you're bringing love into a situation ace of cups and that's their karma right this could be new love for some of you in the near future it could be new love since you're single and ready to mingle okay so what's this ace of cups in the near future the two of pentacles capricorn energy all right so you're kind of like juggling all right but there needs to be something that there's a need for balance here okay for some of you you're going to work on something with your past relationship or something like that because there's a lot of emotional ties to this you see the emotion the ocean represents emotion so two of pentacles somebody wants to balance things out with you okay but I don't know use your discernment okay guys what's hidden what's hidden because you you got the devil showing up so this person was toxic what's hidden yeah the hangman it's easier to cut your losses okay for some of you you're you're about to like break free from something or cut yourself loose from something all right you need to see things from a different perspective with the hangman what's this hangman pisces energy you could be dealing with a pisces What's the hangman? Page of Pentacles. Something about a child could be significant. Some of you could be into tarot. I'm just picking up here. Like some of you could be into tarot. Page of Pentacles. What's um what's the page of pentacles? There could be somebody who's breadcrumbing you. If they're coming in to breadcrumb you, you're cutting them off. Clarify. And that's what's hidden. King of Cups. Some of you could be like mediums. Or your child could be. Alright, some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio. A Pisces. A Cancer Pisces Scorpio. King of Cups. For some of you here, you're getting your messages through an ancestor or something like that. A spirit guide is helping you get through something. Okay, and that's what's hidden. Clarify. Probably a moon. No, the two of cups. So, the two of cups. This is a soulmate union. This could be, again, balancing things out. Okay, so for some of you here, this person or you could be going to like a tarot reader or something like that or a psychic or they could be getting some sort of information through divination tools or something like that. That could be significant. What's the Two of Cups? It's under Hidden. What's this Two of Cups? The Queen of Wands. This is magic, y'all. This could be magic. This could be like a karmic couple or something like that. Somebody could be doing magic on this person that you're on your person, all right, to try to split you guys up so that you could cut this person loose with the hangman. What's the Queen of Wands? What's her problem? Aries Leo Sag. This person could have a black cat. Page of Wands. I don't know. I just see like somebody doing some sort of candle magic or something like that to split you up with your divine counterpart or something like that. For some of you here, your your ancestors are stepping in. Or a tarot reader could be stepping in. Or somebody that's into the occult or something like that could be stepping in and trying to defend this union. But there's some sort of good news that's coming in. What is in your environment? You got the strength card. All right, so you're being confident. All right, you have the strength and the courage to move on from what no longer serves you. This is inner um confidence as well all right for some of you they think you're soft i don't know why but you're not you're strong as fuck 
right? So they need to stop trying to tame a lion's mouth. They're going to get their arm bit off. Okay, so Leo energy with the strength card. What's the strength card in your environment? You need to be a little bit more strong. Maybe you guys could be enabling this person. All right, what's the strength card in your environment? You got the strength card with the death card. Yeah, there needs to be something. You need to stop enabling this person, the death card, and just end something with the death card or you're going through a transformation and you don't even know where this strength is coming from seven uh eight leo 13 scorpio what's the death card with the strength card i don't even know this person's gonna be like i don't even know where she comes up or where he comes up with all this confidence okay you transform something all right what's the death card yeah, there's a new opportunity that's coming your way. Okay, with the Ace of Pentacles. And that's going to allow you to transform. You just need to be confident. This could be a new opportunity. All right, or your focus on money. What's this Ace of Pentacles? The Ace of Pentacles could also be something tangible like a ring. What's this Ace of Pentacles? the world Aquarius Taurus Leo Scorpio okay so get your passport ready you guys could be going traveling or something like that all right but there's a sense of completion you're whole and complete all by yourself or you're realizing that okay so something could be online or you could do something to get money online or something like that that's not for everyone okay but yeah confidence is your key to success all right what's in the outcome some of you are closing this cycle, you're calling it quits, okay, and you're starting something new. You want the new news. So what's the outcome? All right, so October is going to be a, a month of awakenings for everybody, especially with that shadow showing up there. All right, yeah, what's the outcome? Here comes somebody with a love offer. What's this Knight of Cups? What's this Knight of Cups in the op? Seven of Swords. Okay, so Deceit betrayal this person's in love with the idea of love knight of cups seven of swords they just want to be comfortable very strategic aquarius energy what is this uh seven of swords with the knight of cups you got aquarius towards leo scorpio okay so this is like what's destined okay so or wheel is turning in your favor. For some of you here, this love offer that's coming in is a cycle that's coming back around. Okay, it's like somebody from your past life or some shit like that. Okay, that you're still dealing with. What's this wheel of fortune? They're not done. So maybe you're done with your past, but your past is not done with you. Okay, is what I just heard. Or you, or vice versa. Okay, so what's this wheel of fortune? Ten of Swords, Gemini energy. Whenever this person comes around, your Wheel of Fortune goes to shit. Okay, you could be their lucky charm. Okay, is what I'm picking up here. Ten of Swords. This person could have like backstabbed you, betrayed you. You hit rock bottom. Okay, but here he comes, or there they come, coming in with some sort of love offer. Guys, be use your discernment. I mean, if this is someone that you want in your life, then go for it. But let's see, Eight of Cups in the bottom of the deck. Yeah, you need to walk away from it. Anxiety, the tower, to avoid some sort of tower. Yeah, you're planning. So some of you could be planning something kind of like to get out of a situation or something like that. Anyways, what is Angel Guys, Fairy Guys, a good level night? Clean up the type for my Taurus, Summon Rising Venus in North Node. Let's see, let's clarify a little bit. What is this Knight of Wands in the recent past with the Ten of Wands? All right, so somebody who's a lusty, a player of some sort, what is this, right? And every single time they come, yeah, they're lusty, they're, they have a toxic lifestyle, all right? The toxic lifestyle doesn't have to be drinking and shit like that. They could be using this, that head instead of this head. Okay, so that could be for some of you, all right? Or they're living a fucking toxic lifestyle. They're not done, okay, with the Knight of Wands. They come in for a good time, not a long time. What's this devil? What's the devil? All right, you guys could be dealing with a Capricorn, 
okay so this person it could be shocking to them how you've changed or you're cutting them off okay so somebody could even buy you an iphone or something like that that could be significant something about an iphone um what is this queen of swords What's this Queen of Swords? I feel like you guys are going to cut them off. Yeah, GPS. You're going to cut them off and maybe even move, all right? Or you're paying attention to your eternal GPS, your intuition, and you're actually doing this. You're actually going to move forward, all right? Somebody could be at a distance from you, okay? Or they're lost without you. But the Queen of Swords, you don't give a fuck anymore. The number 19 could be significant. One nine could be significant. 95 1995 could be significant circle k could be significant somebody could work in a gas station i don't know what's this knight of swords karmic lesson so yeah learn the lesson and move on you've learned the lesson you're moving on you guys could be doing something i don't know why i'm picking up you guys could be working out and eating healthier okay eating more greens or something like that i see you kind of like having abundance in many forms okay so Good for you. What's this Hierophant with the Three of Swords and this Queen of... I feel like somebody here intervened and destroyed a relationship, or is trying to, and that's the blockage here in October. Okay, it could be a Virgo Taurus Capricorn, a Taurus here. I think you're the Taurus, but Nessie, we'll clarify that. All right, yeah, you're going through some sort of spiritual uh, awakening of some sort, <laughs> or your person is. All right, chaos, eagle death, downward spiral, spiritual awakening. Every spiritual awakening comes with like a boom. Okay, so typically when you go to a spirit through a spiritual awakening, it's gonna either hurt you or you're gonna be in that three of swords or you're gonna be like drained or whatever. Okay, but that's what comes with spiritual awakenings, right? Because you start realizing a lot of things that you did not realize before. Okay, so give me one more on this three. Why is this three of swords here? Why is this three of swords here? All right, I love you. Popping the question. I love you, but they could have, I don't know. This could be a marriage. Okay, or you could be married with this person. What's I love you? Because I love you doesn't go with that three of swords. All right, change behavior does. But I love you. For some of you, you have somebody that just says, I love you. I love you. Let's work on the family. What's the magician? What's this magician in the foundation? The magician. You're turning your back and you're manifesting what's meant to be. You're turning your back on this Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini. Could be significant. What's this magician? Yeah, Divine Masculine. You're turning your back on the Divine Masculine. Okay, or you could be the Divine. It doesn't matter. Masculine, when I say uh, a Divine Masculine, okay, is a person that puts things into action. Okay, so that could be like the Alpha in the relationship. And yes, women could be that. Okay, so Divine Masculine is somebody who puts things into action. Divine Feminine is somebody who's like nurturing putting things into action but passive more passive and then divine masculine is more active all right so whoever it is you're turning your back on is the divine masculine what is this nine of cups because they're selfish because they couldn't make up their mind because they couldn't choose between two between two all right yeah they're under pressure anxiety you could have given this person an ultimatum time's running out or this person could have had this being done with somebody else. Okay, and the other person, yeah, you're fed up. Fed up. Under pressure. There's anxiety. All right, too many things are piling up. Why are you going to have this person around? You need to get some time to chill. There's some time to work. There's time for everything. There's a time for you to just relax. Take it slow. Okay, guys, so you need to take it slow. What is this um, with the hangman and the queen of wands with the king with the page of pentacles here? All right. They left you hanging. No closure. No contact left on red. What is this? All right. Again, Pisces. This is the hangman and this is the hangman. Look at that shit. So that's a confirmation. Somebody is definitely going to leave you hanging or try to sacrifice you or something like that, right? They left you with no closure or something like that. This person's a phony trickster, an illusion, um, 
an illusionist okay somebody could play into like magic and shit like that or is like one of those people that oh look what i have behind your ear a quarter or some stupid shit like that how did you do it uh, magic a, a, a magician never reveals the secrets so somebody could say that shit What is this Ace of Cups here with the Nine of Pentacles? I feel like you're gonna love yourself. I feel like you guys are loving yourself and that's this person's karma. Okay, you're balancing things out. All right, yeah, secret. Keep your moves silent at this time. Okay, what is secrets? What is secrets? All right, for some of you, you guys are gonna go to the legal system and file against this baby daddy or something like that. The confusion has gone. So some of you are going to do it, but keep it a secret. What is this? side hustle yeah that's what they're gonna have to do a side hustle to go ahead and pay you okay so side hustle uber eats somebody could drive doordash whatever it's in your county country all right so what's the two of cups here clarify this two of cups all right yeah this is your wish okay so for some of you you guys are wishing to have this person and stuff like that this spiritual union come in okay but there's somebody here that's trying to Either it's you trying to manifest it by doing magic to man to like for it to go in your will, or this is somebody else doing magic, and it has to do with Ochun. I don't know why I'm picking up Ochun here. Okay, so Ochun, the goddess of love, it's a love spell, whatever this is. Clarify. Yeah, because they miss you, or somebody misses someone. <laughs> What is this um, Ten of Swords with the Wheel of Fortune on the outcome with the Seven of Swords? Okay, so somebody here is very deceptive. Okay, is a, uh, somebody could be betraying you or something like that. Yeah, they're shady as fuck. What is this with Shady? They could say, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. You know, as you hit, as you hit rock bottom, they didn't give a fuck. They watched you. They stuck all those swords in the back, in your back, and moved on. What's this kind of swords? Marrying. So you and this person could be marrying each other, or maybe you stop marrying this person. Okay, because it does come out in the reverse, but it's almost like tit for tat, kind of like if you stop, yeah, and if you stop communicating with this person, now he's all. I'm in a heartbreak. Somebody's name could be Russell. Somebody's last name could be Stone. Okay, Russell Stone. Rosetta Stone. I don't know. Somebody could be learning language. Right, RS could be significant. That could be somebody's initial. Model. Somebody could be a model. 9 to 9, 1929 could be significant. 1929. I don't know. Anyway, what's the strength card? Yeah, they're fucked up over you because you're confident, because you transform, because you're doing something, because you're whole and complete all by yourself. Congratulations, guys. All right, you are the queen bee. Secure, confident, you're the boss bitch. Career focused. Okay, so nobody can come in in your life and fuck you over now. All right, let's go ahead and pull one of these really quick. I know Chung and my ass in here, so I just I'm just like curious. Maybe there's more messages, but let's see. What do we got for Taurus? Angel guys, spirit guys, I can love like. One card for Taurus. All right, so you got here Sekhmet, Wounded Healer. All right, the number 15. The number 15 is the devil in tarot. So Capricorn, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. What else we got? All right, Queen Sheba, Secrets Revealed. The number 36. Oh, here it is. All right, so the Wounded Healer, number 15. Let's see, what do we got here? So it says here, Sekhmet is a fierce Egyptian, Asian Egyptian. So somebody has something to do with Egypt here, but Egypt, Egyptian goddess of war, the sun and healing. She carries life force in her palm with the power to create or destroy. So yeah, you have the power to create or destroy this person. All right, so heal thyself. 
Everyone gets your best, except you. You are a healer among your tribe. Stop putting your needs last. When did you decide to become a martyr? Take a breath. Wounded healers hold sadness, rage, and fear of brokenness. Being a warrior wasn't a choice for our beloved foremothers. They did the best they could, but being a goddess warrior for us is knowing that we have the choice not to fight all the time. Deep dive questions. All right. What are your swords? The weapons you use to fight. What are your swords, the weapons you use to fight, and what are your shields, the ways you defend yourself? Some of you need to defend yourself, okay, like, protect yourself, okay, for some of you, swords has to do with intellect and thought, okay, so, that's your weapon, all right, your weapon is up here, all right, staying quiet, all right, it's up here, staying intelligent, staying smart, smarter, 10 steps ahead of the, of the enemy, all right, so, there to lay the burdens down along with your swords and shields. All right, it is safe for me to put myself first. All right, so you need to put yourself first. Let me read 36. All right, so you got here, Goddess of Secrets Revealed, Ethiopia. All right, in the Bible, the wealthy queen of Sheba brings a caravan of gifts to King Solomon. The Ethiopian holy book reveals that she was their queen, Makeda, and, their, and that together they sired King Manalik. Manalik. The first. Open your eyes. Secrets are being revealed. It is safe for you to see the truth. Your inner vision is crystal clear. You don't know what you don't know. Your creator, ancestors, angels, spirits, and ascended masters are whispering to you. This is divine intelligence. Pay, pay close attention. There are things you do not let yourself see. Allow yourself to be guided. Choose your own path. I am connected to the divine. All right, so this is the... I don't know this is a straw that, <laughs> that broke the camel's back or something like that i just heard all right so that's for some of you guys that's what i got for you guys i'm sending you peace love and prosperity this is going to be for the month of october Taurus, sun moon rising venus and north node if you guys want to book a personal reading with me please check the description box below all right i see good things coming your way all right you just need to put something to the side here all right um don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment below. All right, peace. I love you. I'll see you in the next one.